Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Google Developers Live. My name is Josh Livni. I'm here with Eva Gasparovic today. And we are going to be talking about Google Maps and Freebase. So Eva, can you tell us a little bit about what is Freebase? Um, sure. Freebase is one of those exciting projects we have in Google. It's a data set and a database of well-known facts like people, places, businesses, and so on, uh, derived from the web. It's shaped as a graph. so. Each node in this graph represents a real-world entity, for example, a person or a place. And then the edges of that graph are uh, representing the relationships between different objects. Uh, it's free to use, so it can be mashed up with other APIs, like, for example, Maps, Maps APIs, uh, to create interesting applications. All right. So we have put together a pretty straightforward demo application. And let's take a quick look to see, see what that looks like. We seem to have a map of San Francisco here with a whole bunch of custom icons. What happens if you click one of these? Ah, it brings up this beautiful card showing some details about, in this particular case, the neighborhood. And if you look at the icons, there are different categories. We have this little categories drop down at the top left. And Freebase is full of tons of different categories and subcategories and all these linked categories. But we've just taken kind of a random sampling of some of them. So when you take a look at the code, um, you can see uh, how to make these types of queries. So go ahead and click maybe a couple of more. And here we go. And you get the general idea. So we have here a Google Maps API, uh, some queries to the Freebase API, and then in addition, this really beautiful little cards library, which displays them in a nice manner. And all of that, if you look at the URL, is up on GitHub. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. That is a very cool demo. So it sounds like we're querying Freebase. Um, maybe we could go a little bit more detail into how we actually do that to get the location data back out. Yeah, exactly. Um, actually, we're using two different APIs from Freebase uh, in this application. The first API is the Search API. This allows us to take some geographical boundaries and ask Freebase what are interesting objects located uh, in that area. And then we're using a Topic API that allows us to query for some details about particular object so that we can bring up the, uh, the card. I can show you how it works with the code uh, in two tabs of the Chrome browser now. Awesome. So we're going to be taking a look here at first the Search API. All right, show us what we got. So when the map loads on the, on the page, we automatically issue a query uh, for the Freebase API. I pulled out the um, developer console to show you the query. You can see that we're querying the Freebase version 1 uh, endpoint of the API. And if I go into the details of that request, I can look up what parameters we're sending to the, uh, to the Freebase uh, in order to get our, um, our data. We send two parameters, filter and output. Filter is a very specific way of querying Freebase. Uh, you can uh, check the documentation of how to format your filters uh, in developers.google.com slash Freebase. And here you can see that I have uh, two constraints in my filter. First, I constraint which type I want to query for. In this particular case, I'm asking Freebase uh, for filming locations from given radius. And the second part is the uh, radius and the latitude and longitude params of which area I want to query for. Uh, there are many more params that are available, uh, so just check out documentation and format your queries accordingly. The second param, the output, um, tells Freebase to return, apart from all like generic uh, data about the objects, also the geolocation data. This allows uh, the Maps API later on to take over that data and plot it on the map. Right. So without that last part, we'd get the results back, but we wouldn't know the latitude, longitude, where to place them on the map. Exactly. That's the point of returning the geolocation data. OK. And after the Search API, let's just take a quick look at the Details API. This is the Topics API. Uh, we issue this query anytime the user clicks on a given icon, because we want to get more data about the particular object. The URL is a Freebase version 1 topic, because we're querying about topics. Topics are nodes or entities in, in Freebase. And then each topic is identified by a unique identifier. Usually, they look something like m slash and numerical value. So here you can see that I issue just a get query for topic slash m slash id. And that brings me back uh, a very rich response with all possible data that Freebase knows about uh, the particular uh, object. Right now, 
In the example card, we render only some of this data, but the possibilities are really endless. Yeah, so for example, correct me if I'm wrong, we might have, say, the architect of this particular high school, and then because it's a kind of a linked graph, we could click uh, more information for the architect and get all of the other buildings he may have had a hand in to get those results back and potentially put them on a map. Exactly, because it's a graph, uh, you can add a lot of exploratory features for your users. Yeah. So we're really excited about this and having developers do uh, sort of more interesting things, hopefully following this Freebase free base graph along and maybe putting them on a map if you feel so inclined. There's tons of stuff and it's a, it's a really cool and robust API. So hopefully you guys um, check it out. And how about this code if you want to get started? We've put that up on GitHub, right? Yes, exactly. You can find it under the Google Knowledge part of GitHub. Uh, it's open sourced and free to fork by anyone interested. OK, there it is. And you can click on the link at the bottom to be taken directly there. If you don't want to, go to GitHub slash Google Knowledge. And please uh, fork it, check it out, add some features. We look forward to seeing lots of more sort of uh, mashups here with the Freebase data. And thank you very much for watching. See you next week. Thanks so much.